Hey guys, it's Track, and today we're doing a review on the brand new Boomco Crank Force Rapid Fire Epic Cranking Action 8 Dart Quick Clip Included 70 Foot Ranges Claimed Crank Force. So, this is a blaster, it's a new offering from Boomco. I have no idea what kind of internals it's going to be featuring. Comes with 8 darts and an 8 dart quick clip, which should be compatible with all other Boomco blasters. If we go ahead and flip it over, instructions are load, crank, and pull trigger so you can crank to load or you can uh, hold the trigger and crank for rapid fire. So I guess that's their equivalent of slam fire technology. I'm just thrilled to see a trigger. Looks like the stock has some built in dart storage, which is kind of cool. And then down here they are advising that you clean darts to stick better. Well, it wouldn't be a review of a Boomco Blaster if we weren't using some dirty darts. So we'll start with their clean dart and then we'll use some of mine. Who wants to wash their ammo? That's just always so, so strange to me. So, out of the box, it looks like you get some photo paper targets. Very cool. The stock, which appears to be, it may or may not be removable after you've installed it. And then, of course, all of the, the necessary pieces like the, the crank and the clip down there. So, okay. That's free. crank is free. Now I am of course right handed so I will be attaching it to the right side but I think it's really cool that this is an ambidextrous in mind blaster so you can attach to the right or left side depending upon how you like to crank. We're not going to fool with the photo paper in this review. I think we're going to focus on the blaster itself. So storage for another eight darts you can fully reload it once we lock this into place. Once we try to lock this into place I guess. I don't have it upside down, no, certainly not. Why won't this load? There we go, a lot of force required to get that into place. Once it's in place, it's not bad. I honestly would probably use this without the stock just because having the stock up here is way, way too tight. Hopefully you guys can tell that, but the crank should go on, I guess on the left side since I wanna use my right to operate the trigger. So sandwich that into place. That's no good. Sandwich it back into place. It is neat that you can change it, I guess, after you've chosen, so. There we go, it seems to be primed, and once it's primed, it free flows, so we'll, we'll dry fire it a few times just to get a good feel for it. That seems to be engaged, firing, okay, firing, and you see how it's taking about three quarters of a cycle to prime through and then hilarious so for all of your rapid fire needs so we'll start with the clean darts and oh why did we choose the the decorative knife a perfectly functional knife just does not have the point that I wanted to, well, to get to the point, I guess. So, go ahead and loan some clean Boomco darts into this blaster. Pay no mind to the train going by. I swear, I think that the train runs on a schedule that coincides with when I'm filming. Like, I'm amazed they haven't called me and started asking yet, like, when are you gonna be making a review video? Cool, we'll send the train by then. So that is chambered, I believe, and we'll do a flat shot. That's disappointing. It's like a 20 foot shot. Come on, 70 foot ranges, where are you at? 25, ranged. 30? Just at the 30 point there at the fence? Does it work better in slam fire mode? That's hilarious. Uh, insanely better performance while slam firing through its clip than while using an actual trigger. So pushing that 40 foot ranges while while it's got the slam fire engaged, otherwise floating between the 25 to 30, that's actually a very poor performance for a Boomco blaster. They were doing so good with their flywheel offerings for a while there, but I guess they still 
haven't quite solved the the springer problem yet that was a pretty decent shot at about 30 with the angle 35 and then we'll slam fire the rest of them ouch yikes okay how do you okay so I will explain that now the, the way that I'm holding this blaster is with my three fingers here, my pointer finger on the trigger, and then my thumb right here in this nook. The issue is that the way that my thumb sits, and maybe I just have adult-sized hands and this wasn't designed for me. Don't take this the wrong way, Boomco lovers. But uh, the crank comes down and hits my thumb, and it's hollow on the inside, so it is a little scratchy, and the top of my thumb was not designed to be cranked. So that's uncomfortable, a little bit unpleasant. Obviously, you cannot solve that problem by swapping it over and doing it this way. A, your aiming profile would be completely off base, and then B, it just wouldn't get past your knuckles or your thumbs. So I guess watch out for that. However you... Yeah, that's terrible. So have small thumbs if you want this blaster. That's a good piece of advice. The dart storage is cool. The stock, again, I don't think is really practical because then to crank, I'm actually hitting my chin right now while I'm trying to crank with it shouldered. So I think that's completely non-ideal. This is a very strange blaster. It's kind of gimmicky like the sling fire in that it primes in a weird sort of way in an attempt to be different. But I think that as opposed to the sling fire, which is at least functional and serviceable in various war type and HVZ scenarios, this is not. Maybe it needs a modification to really get the kind of power that you'd want to justify this weird priming. But unless you're like a huge enthusiast for steampunk fallout style chain cranking, then then this one's not for me. I'm definitely never going to use this in a war type scenario. But if that's your cup of tea, then feel free to check out the Boomco Crankbow. It's about half of its advertised ranges and performs reasonably smoothly, just ergonomic issues with where the crank impacts your, your hand while in use. Uh, the overall profile of it, the handle is ultra comfortable. I think that it's a really cool handle. The trigger is very large. Even though it's skeletal, it's got good grip and webbing and then the blaster itself has a really cool profile I wish they painted on both sides but nerf has stopped doing that as well which is really just upsetting the inclusion of the ambidextrous crank attachment is both necessary and awesome that they did that I'm looking at you long shot come on and it does of course have one rail attachment up at the top for all of your tactical needs but this is not a primary this is what i call a pseudo primary on the channel a la vagabond a la lawbringer etc i would never want to use this as my main blasting implement but that's my review hopefully you enjoyed it if you are inclined to pick up a crank bow feel free to check out the amazon link down below i think they still have a few in stock that you could get before the holidays and this one's retailing for somewhere around 20 to 25 it bounces is around but it's reasonably priced for what it is it just isn't for me i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys very soon with more sweet footage costco is tomorrow so i will be very busy this saturday